Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2.2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we are in Jakarta, Indonesia for the... I should have lined this, oh no I'm touching it. For the Pokemon Festival Jakarta. So today there's some sort of PvP thing. My name's on like a poster and like a social thing. Apparently I'm, I'm, I've got to do some battles. I didn't, I, I thought I was just coming here to support the battlers. I've got to participate. I need to put together a team. I don't know what's going on, but basically pretty much running up until the new year as well. There's all of this amazing stuff set up for the Pokemon Festival in Jakarta uh, and a whole bunch of like other bonuses all around Indonesia to celebrate the game being released in Bahasa, localized language in Indonesia. And you can see here, I'm ticking off on some of the special research. So one of the things, like as soon as I landed, as soon as I landed, I uh, got this special research saying, spin 151 Pokestops and gyms and catch 151. Um, obviously a reference here to the first generation of Pokemon, the original 151 Pokemon. No idea what our encounter is going to be there. We've got some rare candy and an incubator at the end. So I'm pretty sure this is for anyone in Indonesia full stop. I don't know if it's just Jakarta for this one, but I'm pretty sure this is everywhere. For the next 30 days in Indonesia, unique uh, research tasks, two times hearts with your buddy, two times catch XP, which is pretty massive. If you're a new or returning player and you live in Indonesia, like now is the time to do it. Encounters with Orangoro through Go Snapshot, which I just grabbed one of those. And then specifically for the festival in Jakarta, uh, additionally, some other, other, other unique research tasks got an increased chance of getting 10 kilometer eggs from spinning pokestops in gyms and thankfully half hatch distance that makes it a bit easier uh, and three times cash xp holy dooly spawn wise we are seeing an overlap of the fighting event but then also uh, a bunch of pikachu i have got a task here to take a snapshot of my buddy at the pokemon go booth now i'm a little bit early but i might be close enough to let's see did that count Probably not close enough. Okay, that's fine. I also managed to snag a lure on this one here, so I'm very curious. I've uh, taken a screenshot of my book four. My lure module, dude. I managed to put down two lures at the Singapore Safari Zone, like right at the merch tent line, like right at the start of the day. And I didn't realize that those lures lasted the whole event. <laughs> so my lure module uh, badge is, uh, is looking pretty healthy at the moment. So we'll see how that goes by the end of the day or the end of the weekend. Otherwise, let's go check it out. Cold. There's like a proper, it's not like a pretend like plastic one. That's like actual ice in the middle of the shopping center. All right, that's cool. Okay, so I've sort of figured it out. We've got a whole, we've got a whole bunch of activities to do in order to claim the cards. There's a Pikachu and an Eevee card, which is amazing. And if this is limited, but it's probably limited one per person. So what if I can, I wonder if I can convince some others to help me out on my quest. We need to do some TCG stuff. We need to catch one Pikachu in Pokemon Go. So that should be totally easy. Uh, and play a match of Pokemon Unite. They're all pretty easy tasks. There's also a bingo rally to like go around and find little QR codes and take photos of all the Pokemon. Again, if you're in the area, this is running like every weekend until January 8th, I'm pretty sure. So I still have no clue what this PVP component is. <laughs> Oh, and they're setting up, they're setting up all the little, little uh, merch tents and stuff. I'm so, always so curious about like what countries get different, like what different merch things are in each country sort of thing. So like I always find there's like a lot of different preferences for plushies versus like which Pokemon's the most favorite. Like I know for the USA market, like people love Charizard and that sort of thing. And then in the Japanese market, like Dedene, people love Dedene and like a lot of the cutesy Pokemon. So I'm really curious what what the vibe is for like cool Pokemon in Jakarta and in Indonesia. So we might go check that out once it's all set up too.
Okay, I might be slightly off the hook. It looks like the PVP thing is I get to pick people to represent my team. So we're gonna find out who's gonna be on team two dots. No one can critique my my PVP skills, but oh, there we go. Managed to finish one of the tasks. I found the spot to take the photos for the little photo bomb encounters. And we have got party hat squirtle. I believe there's a couple of different party hat options for these tasks. So I might try and re-spin all these and see if we get those as well. I have no idea if they can be shiny. They probably can. I can't say why not, but little appraise. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I was entirely wrong. I do have to battle and I get to pick two teammates. So I decided to go to some variety. I've got uh, someone named Ryan who's like level 50 and someone named Nacho who is like level 22. So we're gonna absolutely just like wreck shop. It's gonna be great. I'm, I'm calling, you know, only spicy choices. We'll see how we do. We're, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be good. Layers, we've got layers of people ready. I think there's gonna be a, a Pikachu parade in a moment. They lied to me. You lied to me, Niantic. You, you, you lied to me. I thought I was picking a team, which I did pick a team, but I also had to battle <laughs> on a stage. Well, that was a nice little surprise. I've, I'd said specifically, you know, I'm just gonna like go with the flow and see what happens. And then I have to like battle people. It all worked out. I won my two battles. Happy days. I was very confused how I didn't progress to the future brackets. Uh, that might be because <laughs> one of my team members didn't show up. Big thank you to Ryan for battling your heart out and getting the win. And congrats to everyone who did compete. It was a very, very chill uh, competition. We had a bunch of had a bunch of creators from, especially like the Jakarta area, which is really, really cool to meet a whole bunch of the local creatives. But like a, a massive mix of like um, there were some art, like really cool artists, people to do like just general like content creation stuff some gaming ones people that do pvp people that don't do pvp like a really good mix of people i will link down below as well to everyone that was kind of like featured um really cool artists dude like seriously check everyone out but let us oh yeah yeah huh. hello i'm gonna tick off the um the pokemon festival research here so i finally got the photo bombs to be kind of working and Charmander with the hat. Hello, mate. Get these all claimed up and ready to go because I need to like have a shower and go to bed. 
These videos are going to be late for you guys, so I hope you just bloody well enjoy them regardless. Because there is a marathon. <laughs> Thankfully only a five kilometer one, but there is a marathon tomorrow that I need to be running at like 6 a.m. Why would who why would you do that? I know the answer why you would do that is because like the traffic would be horrendous if you did it any later in the day, I guess, but like <sighs> I gotta get up in the morning. Oh news. I got the heaviest and tallest Charmander, let's go. And third check. Squirtle. Stay tuned. Um after the marathon tomorrow. I think the marathon's gonna be a separate video. I've got a bit of a challenge to do there. Uh we're gonna go back and check out the rest of what's on display for the Pokemon, like the festival stuff. The next day. Great success. I ran, I, I, we ran, I walked the thing, we did it. Yay. Thanks Lapras. <laughs> Okie dokie, so it is the Monday now, I'm going to be flying back home tonight. So, just in case something weird happens, if I, you know, fly home and don't claim this little challenge here, I have caught my 151 Pokemon, I have spun my 151 Poke Stops, and we are going to be getting... Ooh, Lapras, okay. And second encounter... Oh, Snorlax, nice one. Good luck to anyone that snags those as a shiny or something. Both two great encounters. Okay. A bunch of the regular research as well to claim uh, that's like for the this event specifically. So the take a snapshot uh, at the at, at the booth, at the Pokemon Go booth. The thing is though, I'm once again really close to the equator, which means like the the radius for like spinning stops and things like that as well as super super small. Uh, the same for like snapshot tasks. I'm, I'm clearly standing like inside, oh my god, suddenly loud music. I was hoping coming down at like 9, 10 a.m. I would, I would dodge all of the loud sound. There we go. No. Okay, we've claimed here the photo encounters. So snapshot of your buddy near the booth. As I was saying before, it, it gets a little bit sassy sometimes depending on how close or far away you are. Um, even if you're like standing really close, but that's just like a, an equator thing. Just equator things. Okay, party hat squirtle. What else have we got here? Party hat bulba. And last one. Squirtle. Okay, I'm gonna give these stops a spin and see if we get Asks for adding uh, a new friend, so Shout out to the Patreon peeps for adding me for the day. And it looks like Pikachu with the hat is going to be the encounter for this one. So let's grab these three. And third one. No. Okie dokie, three more Pikachu checks. I think this might be the last three. So fingers crossed. Second check. Come on, Pikachu. Check number three. Let's do this. Come on, please. Number three. Ah, that's a little bit better on the ears. Ha. Huh. And three more checks. These should be the starters, the combo of starters. So last three, officially last three, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Another Squirtle. Third and final check. No, on the Charmy. I got crazy lucky. Crazy lucky on the uh, on the marathon day, which if you guys haven't checked that video out, you should do so or else. Maybe if we can get these eggs to hatch for this video, that would be ace, but we'll see if we get some hotel drift. We should. Gotta check out in like an hour, but 
I reckon we can squeeze that out. Alrighty, let's wrap out this weekend with nine 10 kilometer eggs. Managed to sneak on a star piece as well. You love to see it. Let's see. Part of the Indo event is increased chance for 10Ks, but also coupled with half hash distance, which is pretty nice. These have just been popping all weekend. So let's go a full stack. I haven't hatched a shiny in a, I, I mean, actually I lie. I hatched a shiny, not in a video. Um, out of a regular 7k on the way back from Singapore. It was an Elekid. So nothing too crazy, but I feel like I haven't hatched a, just a non-event shiny in a hot second besides the Elekid. So maybe that's, that maybe all my luck went into Elekid, sadly. Why is my, I thought Mindfu was out of these eggs. Why is Mindfu back? <gasps> Tortuga. Come on, champions, give us some spice. Why is Togi tomorrow in 10k's? I thought the 10Ks were cleaned for this season. I thought they were a tighter knit pool. Esper, I still love you, but maybe it's time that you're in 5Ks. Boop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, decent. Decent. Oh, come on. Two Togis, two Mindfu. Oh, that's rough. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Overall, fantastic weekend as it is, so I cannot complain. I have no idea what order these videos are going up in, so if the race video is out and you haven't checked it out, please be sure to do so. If it's not out yet, um, it will be soon, and you should enjoy that too. I got stupid lucky on that race. Actually, really, really lucky. It was pretty wild. Or did I? Ooh, or was I super unfortunate? You'll never... Uh, you'll find out. <laughs> Go watch it. Once again, a massive thank you to the Jakarta and Indonesian community for being just amazing. You guys are absolute legends. Really, really cool thing to see as well is that a lot of people like actually working the booth and like the setup stuff for this, you know, th there's more than Pokemon Go happening at that uh, setup at the pick you know, shopping center. There's like Pokemon Unite, there's Pokemon uh, TCG, like people doing like, you know, teaching people how to play TCG and stuff like that. Legitimate local players, like people that love the game, love raiding, trading, like playing together. Like everyone that I saw knew someone else who knew someone else who knew someone else, like amazing community here. Um, and definitely like really good to see that it's, you know, some events like this or you know like when there's been like the community day and going get a postcard from a com day and you know the people working the booth that have a t-shirt that says pokemon go and niantic they're just hired staff like the same as if you see like a red bull thing and there's like hey do you want to try red bull like they don't actually work for red bull they're like hired actors um and i know for a lot of like other things that pokemon's done or pokemon go has done people are like oh this person didn't even know how to install pokemon go or didn't know what the thing was it's like that's because they're not actual players everyone here plays and loves pokemon and that was really cool to see like they could actually genuinely help people if they had questions about the game or getting started with the game which is really really cool and just in general you guys are absolute legends you're absolute sweethearts so i appreciate the hospitality and i hope that i can see you guys again soon and as always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.